Hello, hello, um, it's me Grimshot, and um, I am just going to be doing a little talk about a new game that's been on uh, Early Access, which I don't mind, it definitely needs some work, but it's not bad, it's actually quite okay, and yep, getting shot by teammates, as normal. Um, yeah, it's Warhammer 40k internal Eternal Crusade, not internal, but um, at the moment it could be internal, just during um, the Horus Heresy kind of thing period, <clears throat> at the moment it could be, you could say, just because it is um, Chaos versus um, Space Marines, that's the only two races that are out at the moment, but I have no problems with that, but um, yeah, at the moment it's quite a fun game, I like it, at the moment. Definitely need some more maps though. Three's just not as cutting it, but could be a lot better. So yeah. Um, what is this game pretty much? It's pretty much a. It's sort of like um. Ah, uh, what I, I won't say Battlefield because it's more um. It's hard to word really, it's like it's own um, type of fighting game. Um, yeah, I just can't really find the words to explain what this game is, but um, yeah, I got no words for it, sorry. It's, it's like Battlefield, but it isn't. Like, it has the same concept of Battlefield, like you take points in that, you have vehicles and you shoot enemy, but it doesn't play like a Battlefield. Like Battlefield, um, it's not this over the top violence, because there are kill moves and not like they don't look gory, but if, if the, um, the graphics quality and improvement went on that, it could be very, very gory easily. And um, yeah, I. Did they st how the hell did they stop this? No one's protecting it. Awesome. Yeah, um, goals of the um, game. One team attacks, one team defends. Um, the attacking team has to grab around about half or more of the points, I think. Like on this map, I think we have to grab three before um, our cap starts going up near the ABC. If that reaches um, full, the attacking team wins. Now, <clears throat> in every map there are vehicles in that, so it's quite good and diverse. Like, you can use vehicles to go in or go in on foot. And, um, the classes are very unique. Like, there's just a standard soldier with a bolt rifle, which is, uh, 45... which has, uh, 42 bullets in each clip, and, um, has uh, reloading abilities in that, and grenades, which are highly, highly deadly. One grenade will just rip you apart if you're on it. And sweet, and oh, you can customize kits. So instead of um, the standard rifle, you get a dual. Ah, um, uh, what's the word? Um, dual barreled. Yeah. Two barrels in each one. Yeah, two barrels on a rifle. On a rifle, it, but um, it's really good in close combat, but absolutely terrible for long range because, well, yeah, it has um, it's not as accurate. Now I'll just um go over the basic kits, which I'll show you here. See, there's a traitor preset, havoc preset, reaper preset, aspiring sources. Sorcerer preset and um, traitor assault pre preset. Now each one is there in better and own ways. This one is cannon fodder. This one's pretty much like support with a massive weapon. This guy is uh, has a jetpack, so he pretty much gets up behind you and rips you a new one. Pretty much that's his job. And um, the sorcerer is like a medic plus um, <clears throat> assault in a way. Like, he has, um, capabilities of healing you and, um, poisoning you. 
and traitor assault preset is well just engineer. I'll show you this um, kit, but um, you can get different loadouts, like customize your own loadouts. As you can see, this guy is really slow. But this is what this guy's built for. He's just built to just um get in a position and just offload to, and just offload into the enemy. And as you can see, there are tanks in this. And yeah, he walks incredibly slow because well, he's hauling around this weapon with him all the time. And as you can see, reap, that's a reaper for you. Highly maneuverable and does not like to mess around. And wow. Yeah. This weapon you just hold down the trigger and pray to god that anyone in front of you is the enemy and not allies or they will get incredibly hurt really fast. But yeah, pretty much the main job of this guy is just get in there and just rip him a new one. I'm not really good at the um, Reaper because, well, it's just not my type of class. I'm not one of those... Yeah, main job of a Reaper is just get real close and do a lot of damage real fast like that just absolutely destroys you and do ground pound attacks which um, just disorient you and do damage but you can edit these kits in the editing room like custom kits like I'll show you on this one this guy has two barrels on his, on his uh, gun as you can see if the camera would let me there see two barrels Highly effective at close range, which is good for this area of the map. If we hold A and B, this is what these two guns are built for. But the map is actually quite big and gets um, 20 v 20, I think, is the max at the moment. This is early access, but it's really good for the time being. I'm not complaining. I'm just sitting back and enjoying the game for what it is and big. Not big, but average 40k fan, so yeah. Oh, we downed each other. Um, can you not? But yeah, um, for the two races at the moment, there are two races at Chaos and Space Marines. And at the moment there are three factions, like, three paint schemes pretty much, for each race. That's what I say they are. Because that's what it feels like, because the... I forgot the name of these guys, um, something bearers. I can't remember for the love of, for the, um, I can't remember what, um, their name is but yeah um yeah three races for each one that like um for space marines I know there's uh, uh ultramarines uh blood ravens and can't remember the other one but um yeah it, no Oh, what the hell was stuck? And yep, yeah, this was chat. And yep. And here's one of the executions. Yep, that, that will kill you anyone. Um, yeah. Ultramarines, Blood Ravens, 
some other one, but they are adding um, space walls soon, eventually. Yeah, but um, for the um, there are two other races getting added, maybe more later. I don't know, but these are the races that are coming out that I know of because well they've advertised because it's in the custom like where you uh, pick what race you want to go. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yep, dead. Just like that. Um, orcs, which is just a standard, and the Elder. But um, there could be more coming on. And new different type of game modes. There could be like a horde mode with the Terranids, or Gene Steelers, one or the other. Doesn't really bother me. All the same in my eyes. Um, and yeah, but um, each race is different and have their special abilities. And this team has a tank coming down the. Yep, that's that's a yep, that's a tank on my face. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But um, yeah, the vehicles in this game there are only two. There's the Reaper and the Rhino. The Reaper is the heavy, is a tank, is the tank, which um, is just shoot the enemy to pieces as much as possible and pray to god they don't get up. They, they do have side cannons, which is... I'll just let you watch this. Yep. That's Backbreaker. It did the old uh, Batman routine on me. Um, there are yeah, the tanks. The pre uh, yeah, it has the main cannon, which is rapid fire, high explosive rounds, pretty good against everything. Then there are side cannons as well. Um, machine guns, should I say? Yes, yeah, machine guns. Um, they are built for. Him down. Thank you. Stop him. Um, yeah, and after that there is the Rhino. Um, Rhino is pretty much an APC with a machine gun on the top and that's it. And pretty much that's all that I can really tell you. But I can show you the customizable kits, which is just straight after this and the main menu, like here. You can make um, extra races, I mean you can have up to four groups. As you can see there are Space Marines, uh, Dark, An Brothers, Dark Angels, Space Marine, Ultramarines, Blood Angels and Space Wolves. And for Chaos there are World Bearers, Black Legion and Night Lords and Iron Warriors which are coming up and they give you a little text about what they are and yeah, like uh, formerly the 4th Legion of Space Marines, the Iron Warriors specialize in siege warfare and the reduction of fortified positions. These guys, the Night Lords are... Mental, yeah, they, they just love to spread the word of chaos and I'm not going to read through them all, as you can see they are Orcs and Elder coming out. Now um, if we go and select the race you can actually start to edit it as so. I'll just um, give you a quick breakdown of what you can get for these, for the tra yeah, traders. Um, we can just double click here and as you can get there's a bolt gun, stalker bolter, plasma gun and storm bolter gives you a brief description of what they are and for here you can have a bolt pistol or a smart bolt pistol same points this one's preferably used for melee with a sword and yeah standard knives um, and special grenades there's the frat grenade the karaka grenade and the melter bomb anti-fortification positions yep 
good at destroying a lot of shit really fast. Um, I'd like to use that one day, but don't have the points. And um, consumables. There's ammo, warp crystal, repair kit, and advanced warp crystal. M most of the... Okay, I have to read this because I've never really found out what these are. Most of the various warp space of that. Chaos warriors can absorb to restore health. Pretty much resorb health and repair tissue in a short time, blah 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 blah. The bigger one makes you less harder to kill. Now, uh, I'll discard all that. I'll just go down to this one now. Edit. As you can see, this guy only has a um, base weapon and that, the main weapon and that's it. There's a plasma, plasma cannon, laser can, la, les laser cannon, anti-tank weapon, anti-infantry, and high armor. Charge it up and it makes a bigger boom, pretty much. And as you, as I showed you before, the heavy bolter. And same things for there. Now back and uh, this guy, the traitor. Um, traitor assault. Sorry. As you, you just get a secondary weapon. And a melee weapon. I really need to change that. Now, there's the power fist, which is anti fortifications. Not really built for taking out people because it's slow, but if it hits, it will hurt. And um, there's the power axe, which is anti vehicle. And um, yeah, it's good for hacking through armor. This sword is a fast. Um, it says anti-vehicle, but I don't really think it is. I think it's more of an anti-person weapon. Anti-personnel. Now, the chainsword. One of the most favoured weapons in the 40k universe, I'd say. Like, most um, wide known. Not including the standard rifle, of course. Chainsword. It is a fast anti-infantry weapon. A.K.A. It's a sword that has teeth on it that rips you to shreds as fast as possible and has a throttle on it. You pull the throttle, it goes fast and rips you to shreds. Which I'll do, actually. And, um... Grenades. Can't do that. Oh, won't let me. Um, just that. And you can have that. And that's... The assault. I think there's a guy with a jetpack. Can't remember. Let me just check. No, 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 no. That's a guy with a mark that gives him extra health. Now the sorcerer is an interesting class. As you can see, it says warp construction or warp instability. Pretty much kill or damage. Yeah, one poison. Um, it poisons the enemy and does um, damage over time for a small period of time, but if the enemy is very, very weak and gets away, it will kill him. And, of course, the secondary weapon, you want to have the smart bolt or it, and the melee weapon as a, a four sword. Fast anti-infantry vehicle, I mean, anti-infantry weapon, that um, uses psychic energy to allow it to cut through armor. And... I'm, I might give you a brief description of what um, Psycho is and what Warp Crystals are. It's it's like um, another dimension. Type. I'm not the best to describe it. I'm just going roughly off memory. Pretty much it's just... Um, it's, it's very hard to tell you, but it's so interesting. Pretty much... Chaos Gods and the Warp are uh, an area where what we imagine becomes real. Like the Chaos Gods are, be f are through human and others' creation, like impurities and um, lusts and all that. Each Chaos God is a mix of certain things, with good and bad. And yeah, da 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 da. Um, it's stupidly hard to word, and pretty much if you just want to learn about it, just Google the lore on the frickin' warp, and it just tells you about it, and uh, the Horus Heresy, all that. That's an interesting read to be, to think about it, but yeah. Well, I just showed you the basics of this, um, 
And yeah, um, there's not much more that I can really think that I could show you. I might do a couple of gameplays of me playing through it, just talking about some other stuff that I might be doing soon, and stuff like that, really. And that's it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope you like the video. If you did, press the like. Click, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, well, preferably you didn't put the thumbs down, but if you do, you do. I don't mind if you don't like it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos, which will be coming out as soon as possible when I have time to edit due to work and life at the moment. Um, and yeah, subscribe and all that good stuff. And so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.